What's going on guys, Bojo 672 coming to you guys with it right now. So I'm going to go over the news today of training camp for the Eagles. Only an hour of practice today. An hour. That's it. Um, Alshon Jeffrey, Jason Kelsey were, uh, took a day off today, a veteran's day off today. And uh, the rest of the team practiced. So we're going to have some light news today, some things to look forward to, some things that happened today. Nothing crazy. Uh, so the rest of the schedule for the training camp, for the big matchup on Thursday against the Tennessee Titans for preseason... Uh, you're going to have a very heavy practice on Tuesday. Wednesday, they're going to be off, and then Thursday is the big game. So, um, well, you know, the big preseason game that we've all been wa waiting to watch our birds play at least some preseason football. Do not care. As long as they're playing, I do not give a shit at all. So let's get straight to the news. With the injuries of Joe Osman, defensive end Joe Osman with the knee injury, Shelton Gibson with the ankle injury, and then the other injury I didn't know about was Boston Scott with an ankle injury. Uh, all three are still being evaluated. Nothing, no news has come out yet. Um, I believe tomorrow we'll have more news on all those injuries. Sidney Jones was taking snaps in the nickel, um, which I understand they're trying to cross-train players, but Sidney Jones does not need to play nickel. It's nice for him to know more in one position, but we all need Sidney Jones on the outside. Outside should be the only position that he should be playing, but it's not a bad thing for him to know another position. I know all these guys need to cross-train, but in his case, he should have been drafted he would have been drafted top 10 as an outside receiver, and he's got to stay as an outside receiver. Okay, having a very strong camp. Um, hopefully get some reps on Thursday, which would be very nice. And, you know, I really want to see him do well. Really want to see him shut down one side of the field. I really want to see him back where in his college days. Um, I just want to see him transition. He's, he's been through so much, and, man, if he could just – you know, just pull himself up and have a good year this year. It's going to be very promising. We're going to keep him on this team for years to come. Corey Clement uh, got reps at running back today on 11 on 11s and uh, looks really healthy. Uh, very healthy, running up the gut, looking like his normal self. He's back. Uh, very happy about that. You know, we need, you know, we're very low at that running back right now, but it's very nice to see that Corey Clement uh, is 100% is healthy, looking good, and the Eagles had did not stop him from taking the ball, getting a lot of reps today. So Miles Sanders had a monster day last night. He had a monster night last night, open practice at Lincoln Financial Field. And then, uh, you know, today, and what I've noticed what Miles Sanders has been doing a lot has been dropping the football. When he's going out for passes, he's been dropping the football a lot. Um, I think this will get fixed. Um, I don't think this is something like he can't catch a football for his life. I mean, Jordan Howard is going out for passes. Every running back in this Doug Pearson offense is going out for passes, okay? This is not just one or two guys. This, this is... This is going to make defenses a lot more worried because if you have every running back in this backfield that can go out for passes, that can be wide receivers, that can do wheel routes, that can go out on go routes, you have no idea um, what's going to happen. And any of these running backs could do anything. I think uh, even in Jordan Howard's case, I, you know, the Bears really didn't utilize him um, with his, 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 you know, catching the football. Um, they did the first two years, and Jordan Howard wasn't good his first two years. Uh, catching the football and then got better and then once they got to Reed Cohen, you know, he kind of just they just stopped doing it with Jordan Howard uh, so i um, very excited To see this running back, uh, you know, this whole group is, is look it's looked phenomenal and Miles Sanders um, Has shown has displayed and showcased a little bit of his talent in front of the fans uh, last night and his jump cut ability That shady-esque jump cut ability is just amazing. I'm hoping uh, that this will get fixed uh, I think it will. Um, it's just, you know, uh, LaShawn McCoy had the same problem. Uh, I, not really catching out of backfield, mostly like fumbling the football because uh, Shady had a problem with, you know, fumb fumbling. And uh, fixed that right up uh, when he got to Philadelphia. So I just give it a little bit of time. It's still early. You know what I mean? We still got a few more weeks until the season starts. So you know what? Uh, I think I think uh, I need to see him go out for passes in preseason. I just want to see him run with the football first and just see what's going on. So other than that, I'm very happy with Miles Sanders, and hopefully all this can get fixed. Carson Wentz with another leaping Deshaun Jackson in the end zone for a touchdown. Uh, this is just the normal news of the day. Carson Wentz to Deshaun Jackson hooking up for a touchdown is just normal news. Okay, we've seen what he did last night uh, at Lincoln Financial Field, burning these cornerbacks and showcasing how good he is, just the acceleration and just the release off the line and just 
man, there's just so much to even talk about. I mean, some of Carson Wentz passes to Deshaun Jackson even last night were pretty were pretty good, but he's got to throw the ball further than what he's throwing. Like he's throwing it on the money to Deshaun Jackson, but you don't need to throw it to his body. You could throw it four or five. You could throw it five six feet in front of him, and he'll still be able to catch the football because he will catch up to that ball that's ahead of him. And you know what? Carson's just got to just put the ball in front of him. Don't put the ball on Deshaun Jackson. Put it, unless he's on a comeback route, different story. But if he's just going, if he's gone, throw that ball in front of him and he will catch it. Okay, that's the one thing I need Carson Wentz to do this year. LJ, fourth start at middle linebacker today. Um, got his chance today to, to get some reps, which is good. Um, all these linebackers that we do have, like Zach Brown, Nate Gary, and all these guys, um, you know, Paul Rolos, they're dealing with the ankle, you know, the knee injury right now. Um, which, you know what, that's just pushing him back more. Um, you know, as of right now, you know, most of these guys we do have could play inside and outside linebacker, okay? Most of these guys can. Nigel Bradham dealing with a little bit of, a, I think, of a thumb or the, I think a thumb injury or whatever the hell it is right now. Um, most of these guys could play inside and outside. Um, and this is going to happen a lot, especially this month. That they're going to literally put just, they're just going to keep throwing guys in, literally. They're going to go from LJ4. Uh, LJ Ford to Nate Gary, Zach Brown, not, you know what I mean? They're, they're going to see what they have and see what guys work, you know, what two linebackers are going to work really well next to each other if they're in base form or if they're playing in nickel or whatever's going on, um, whatever they're playing. Because most of the time we're playing with two linebackers in the 4-3, uh, depending on if we're playing base or nickel. Um, so, you know, it all depends. But you know what? I want them to get as many reps as possible. I want Nate Gary and LJ Ford. Uh, to get as many reps as possible, okay? Because uh, as of right now, Cam Mu is only going to be out a few weeks, a few games, nothing crazy. He'll be back mid-September, so we're not really worried about it too much. Uh, but you know what? This is why we have preseason. This is why I know everyone hates preseason. Everybody hates preseason and you know all the games. And, you know, I understand. Trust me. I... A long time ago, I used to hate preseason. Like, back when I was, like, in middle school, like, I never watched preseason. Early high school, never watched preseason. Um, I literally just didn't care. And I wasn't as much of a fan back years ago than I am today. Um, so I have a different mindset of the whole game of football and everything. But um, it all, it, it, that, that's why these reps are so important. And yes, the, you know, injuries can happen. But, you know, I think I think we're all right. We're not in panic mode. Wouldn't really worry about it too much. All than that, guys, that's really it. So that's a very light day. Probably the easiest bit, <laughs> training camp video I've made pretty much so far this year. Okay, this, this off season. Um, so tomorrow's going to be a lot of news. So probably catch up with you guys tomorrow. Uh, with the update and uh, I will see you guys later if you haven't subscribed to the channel please subscribe I very much appreciate it and uh, hope you guys have been watching and enjoying everything that's going on so I will see you guys later shit's going up fly I'll fly